to speaking to Howard Stern, Billy said she started watching adult films when she was only 11, but now finds that pornography is a disgrace. She added that when she started having sex, she didn't say no to things because she thought that was what she was supposed to be attracted to. She also said the films often distort how women's bodies are supposed to look. I'm so glad she's bringing this up. Mm. You have a serious look on, on your face. What are you thinking? I don't think Howard Stern was the appropriate place for this conversation about how an 11 year old girl was watching pornography as pornography is used as a tool to groom. Right. Yeah. It doesn't I mean, sit well with you at all. But no, it, it's no. like, unfortunately or fortunately, this is the only place where people usually open up. Right. You know, if she's pushing a new album, she's not going to talk about this. Howard Stern does give people a chance to open up about abuse, drug issues and things like that but I completely agree Eric I think the question is for our society is like when do you have this conversation and with who because I right. have a 13 year old son who's more childlike and my daughter who's not an adult at all is further along than than him so how do I navigate that right. I, as, a, as an adult and as a parent I think we need to say we don't know but, you know, I, I definitely get your trepidation when you're talking about Billie Eilish because it, the sexualization of our children right. is something we don't talk about in this country. Porn is a disgrace, and I used to watch a lot of porn, to be honest. Billie Eilish was opening up about her sex life and her first time watching porn. The 19-year-old Grammy winner was on the Howard Stern Show on Tuesday and talked about the inspiration behind her song, Male Fantasy, which has a verse about porn. During the conversation, she revealed she first watched porn when she was 11 years old. As a woman, I think porn is a disgrace, and I used to watch a lot of porn, to be honest. I started watching porn when I was, like, 11. Wow. And, um, you know, it's... I, I didn't understand why it was a, a bad thing. I thought, I thought that's how you learned how to have sex. The and that she would talk about porn before she realized how bad it was. I think it really destroyed my brain. And um, I feel incredibly devastated that I was exposed to so much porn. I think that I had like sleep paralysis and these like almost like night terror slash just nightmares because of it. I think that's how they started because I would just watch abusive, you know, BDSM. And that's what I thought was attractive. And I just didn't, I, it got to a point where like, I like didn't, I couldn't watch anything else. Like, unless it was violent, I like didn't think it was attractive. And I had, I was a virgin. I had never done anything. Not saying no to things that were, not good and it's because i thought that that's what i was supposed to be attracted to and i just i am i'm so angry that porn is so loved and i'm so angry at myself for for thinking that it was okay and and um it it, it just is the, the way that like vaginas look in porn is crazy no vaginas look like that women's bodies don't look like that it, it, enjoy things that are what it looks like people are enjoying i'm not a i'm not a serial dater i'm not a person that goes and looks for people i'm not i'm just I, billy isn't at the club no i don't go to stuff and flirt with people it's really hard to meet people when, you know, people are either terrified of you or think you're out of their league or that they could, you know, it, it's, it's hard. It is hard. And I, I, I definitely like last year thought I would be single for the rest of my life. It was a great, very That's depressing. realistic thing to be thinking, but I, I, I genuinely couldn't even picture myself in a relationship of any sort. And um, mm. I got over that pretty fast.